Hey. Hello, my name is Cole McCarville, and at just 17 years old, I was able to stand in on multiple major surgeries in which the patient's quality of life was dependent upon success. Now, it's something very special to be able to stand from just one foot away from such a major undertaking. The title of my presentation is Time is Money, Time is Knowledge. Throughout my high school career, I have been involved in Kick It Through You. It gave me the opportunity to do three different job shot experiences, two of which I spent with dermatologists, and the other one I spent with the general surgeon. Now, the two and most integral pieces of Kickapoo U are the capstone and internship. These taught me a lot about my future and what I want to do. I did my internship with Dr. David Hicks, an orthopedic surgeon at Cox Hospital. I spent an hour and a half every day with him, either in the clinic, where I would experience things with bedside manner and how to interact with patients, or in an operating room, where I witnessed major surgeries such as fractures, rotator cuffs, ACLs, and even total joint replacements. Through my internship, it became very apparent that one thing was key in the field of orthopedics, and that is time. So for me as an intern, it was very important to maximize my time. I used my time to learn about diagnosis, anatomy, surgery, bedside manner, and a slew of other things that go along with orthopedics. However, this internship also taught me a lot about myself. The 50 hours that I spent in my internship saved me countless hours that I would otherwise be using in the future to try to navigate and figure out what I wanted to do. However, time was not just important for me. In orthopedics, time is important for everyone. The value of time was very apparent. For me, time was knowledge. For patients, time is health. And for the surgeon, time is money. So we'll start off with the patient. For the patient, as I said, time is health. Time spent with a doctor means surgery, rehabilitation, which are obviously easy key components that anyone would think would go into getting healthy. However, it's a lot more than that. A patient wants to be confident in their surgeon. They want to have loyalty and trust, and time gives the doctors and patients able to build that time to be able to build that relationship. Now, time in the doctor. For the physician, time is money. Time spent on the job means you're working with a valid patient, and valid patients in the field of orthopedics need surgery. Whenever you're performing surgery, you're generating revenue. However, time is so much more than just money for a physician. It's also a time where you can create that relationship that the patient is seeking as well. Time gives doctors the chance to be more than just a doctor for these patients, but a friend. This is when, during my internship, I realized that there was a roadblock that lied between physicians and patients maximizing their time. It was obvious that not every patient that came into the clinic had a valid need or actual pain. So, this was very identifiable, and these patients can be called malingerers. Malingerers are people who feign or exaggerate illness in order for either personal gain or sometimes to get off work. Now, this became apparent in my internship, and I'll give you a quick example of one type of thing. So, during my internship, we were in the clinic, and I realized, wow, deer season is starting, and I would really like to be out in a stand right now. And it was very apparent that others would too. Because just about this time, you would have a group of men, maybe they'd be wearing camo, maybe cowboy boots, and they'd come in with some injury they were claiming to have. This may have been real, it may have been not, but you might, as a physician, talk about the 12-point buck that you did, maybe you didn't actually kill last weekend. And this kind of gets a relationship started, and this builds that trust and that confidence with the patient. This will help you to build up to a conclusive no, and tell them, no, you do not need surgery, but you don't have to do so in a blunt way. You're doing it in a manner where they feel like they came in and they connected with that physician. The effects of malingering, however, are negative. For patients with valid need who are in pain, malingerers take time from them. Orthopedic surgeons have very busy schedules, and it makes it hard for these patients with need to work in when the physician is working with malingerers. Therefore, they may suffer as they try to work into that schedule. This brings me to my driving problem, which is how to differentiate malingering concerns from valid health concerns in the field of orthopedics. I did some research into this problem, and it became very apparent to me that, it, that malingering is a problem, and it's nationwide. I realized that, uh, that orthopedic complaints are the largest of any medical field. Therefore, this brings me to the conclusion that, yes, there is a need. There are more patients in orthopedics than anything else. However, this brings more opportunity for that patient to be a malingerer. 
My research also informed me that there are three very key components that are common within malingerers. That would be smoking habits, obesity, and medical history. Now when you pair this with the drive to, to improve, this can kind of help you get a group on who is a malingerer. Because after all, if a patient comes in and does not want to get healthier, then no physician would want to work with them. So I decided to come up with a solution to try to take this into my own hands. How could I keep malingerers from taking time from needy patients? This would be an algorithm or a test that could kind of line out and de that people could use to de determine whether you are valid or not. This would take into consideration six major variables, three of them being the ones I listed already, smoking habits, obesity, and medical history. When you pair this with the drive to improve, that gives you a good grip of that person already. Then we need to take into account range of motion and pain because that physically identifies if there is an injury or not. Next, the next step would be implementation. This could be worked into the field of orthopedics by physical therapists. Physical therapists could give this test to patients before they consult with a physician. Therefore, that physician is not spending time with the patient until they know they are in need. The end goal of this is to keep physicians with patients in need. This gives patients more opportunities to build that relationship they are looking for with the doctor. After all, medicine is founded on the basis of helping others. So this, this malingering identification test can help give us the chance for doctors to be able to uphold themselves to the standard that they must be more than just a doctor to that patient, but a friend. Stephen King famously said, time heals all wounds. I was able to experience this firsthand in my internship. So thank you for your time.